Welcome back to No Contest. More than just a behind the scenes series, it's Stab and Red Bull's deep dive into the cultural richness, the unique charm, and the radical local characters that make each of the 11 stops on the World Championship Tour special. From Bali, we're headed to the fourth stop on the World Championship Tour, Western Australia. From Denpasar, it's a three and a half hour flight to Perth and then a three hour drive to Margaret River, where we were eager to meet up with four generations of the area's icons, Jack Robinson, Jay Davies, Taj Burrow, as well as Jake and Paul Patterson, AKA Snake and Ant-Man. It's six in the morning. We're here at boat ramps in Margaret River. The water patrol are about to launch the skis for the day and we're gonna meet up with a local warlord by the name of Paul Ant-Man Patterson. We're looking after the water safety team here at Margaret River Pro. And we have an eight-man team and seven skis on the water at any one time. And as you can see, it's a pretty wild coastline and anything could happen out there. So yeah. we just do our best to keep everyone safe and just make sure everything's OK. Yeah, well, the southwest coast here of Western Australia is one of the most consistent coastlines of surf in the world. It's, but it takes a while to work out where to go because, yeah. I mean, there's a long coastline and when you beat off the main road, it can take you all day to find one way. <laughs> so you've got to sort of work out where you're going. Yeah, we've got such a variety of big bombies, outer reefs, yeah. slabs, a range of beach breaks, and uh, we love it here. We, we don't mind doing a bit of driving to find that hidden gem. It confuses the hell out of you. Uh, I've grown up here all my life and I'm still chasing, trying to find the perfect wave. Magical place, definitely like one of those hidden corners of the world that you know we're really lucky to get to go to and share the waves with all the locals and stuff and, and the men in grey suits too. <laughs> There's definitely not many waves around here. And the saying the west west is best, I'm pretty sure the west is best. Beginner waves to scary waves and everything in between. Holy shit. Endless types of waves around here. Super fun as a photographer. And then everything up into intermediate and then expert. Seems like every other wave here is like a crazy slab. No, I'm sure they keep a lot secret still, but there's a few secret beaches and yeah, a couple of reefs that get good during winter. Look at this thing, holy shit. Oh, he died. Created some really good surfers. Obviously you can see guys like Jack Robber that's um, honed his skills around here and um, obviously Taj, Jake Patterson, a lot of those guys from a little bit further up down the wave. It's unbelievable. Every nook and cranny has like some sort of crazy slab or, you know, just from here, Margaret River to Yelling Up, there's probably 30, 40 kind of average waves and then we've probably got five or six un incredible world-class waves that you already know about, but you don't need to hear it from me. With a solid swell in the water, but a tricky wind, we knew a few nooks and crannies would be doing their thing and that local hero, Jack Rabo would know where to go. So I know that everyone's got their eyes on box because they're running at main break, but I hear that that little corner down the street from your house might be working. Now, tomorrow would be the day for it if I was going to hear that. While Jack was generous enough to tip us off, it turned out a handful of the world's best were on to it too. So we headed out for a first crack at a proper West Oz slab.
That was way more difficult than it looked like. I went over the falls plenty, connected with Woody on one. I watched Jack Robinson like chip into the craziest, like full square slab. It's just weird, like the way those slabs work, you're paddling left to go right and it looks like a closeout coming at you. And then the, it's, as you stand up, it just shoves you through it. If you think knifing a West Oz slab's tricky, try pronouncing the indigenous town names. I'm going to ride. I was thinking about this the other day. Barn up, yelling up, engine up, wide up, yelling up, engine up, wired up, what's up? Quarum up, wood up, all the way up. I live in wide up, Margaret River up, quarum up. I can't remember him now. You put me on the spot. Not narb up, is that one? Oh, yelling up, wood you up, quarum up, yelling up, narn up, willingong, no. Jaren up, I did pretty good. I did like three or four. Not bad for a seppo. Yelling up, warren up, wood you up, wood you up, little bop, wide up, yelling up, ran up, wood you up, yell up, warm up, wide up, quedge it up. Willy really I guess it means like close to the water. I'm actually not sure of what it means. Over the top of a hill. <laughs> I think yelling up is a place of love. When the girls ask where you're from, you say I'm from I'm from a place of love. Yeah. Well they, yeah, they usually find that out. <laughs> it's something to do with the water or water flow or some of some sort. Pulling me up on my local knowledge here. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> The, the fly and fly out worker, I mean, well, the surfers here have the best dream ever. You know, they work for two weeks, come down here for two weeks and not have to work and, and you know, keep the economy alive down here, basically. Like, that's exactly what it's like. So those guys got it pretty much wide and then they, they can live wherever they want pretty much because they're fly and fly out. So, and this is obviously an incredible place to live. Western Australia enjoys some of the most resource rich land in the world and mining is big, big business in the West producing more than 50% of Australia's mineral and petroleum sales, and with more than 50 active gold mines accounting for $10 million a year in bling. For a surfer, the fly-in, fly-out mining jobs are almost too good to be true. A six-figure starting wage working 150 days a year, two weeks on, one week off. And with nine weeks of vacation time, now you understand how so many Australians are in Indonesia on every good swell. In fact, one of the most famous mines in the West is lovingly named Cloudbreak. But since the 1950s, Margaret River has become world famous for something else coming out of its mineral-rich soil, wine grapes. As one of three wine-growing regions in Western Australia, for wine snobs and enophiles alike, Margaret River is Australia's crown jewel. And of the hundreds of vineyards here, none are as beloved by local lads like Jay Davies as Aravina Estates, which conveniently houses the Western Australia Surf Museum. They started growing vines down here about 50 years ago. Mm. You know, it's got an amazing climate, amazing soil structure, and it just, you know, it just, it just works well. Right? You know, it's definitely becoming a, a worldwide destination to come and visit, um, especially with such easy access from Perth. And so, yeah, I think the vineyards and the wine region, you know, it, it brings people from all over the world. And then that ties in well with food and just like some of the best, like veggies and fruit you can get in the world. Do you spin it? Is this, is this the right move right here? Oh, mate, that's perfect. Do you guys want to try? Sure, I'd love some. Definitely. Cheers, Jay. To your lovely hometown. Thank you. Coming. Food and the wine's great, but just, I mean, you can come back here and really get like the feel of the surf culture in the southwest and even the whole of the west coast, really. It's got all the spots in it, all the memorabilia. He's really done a good job here, and um, I mean, you get a little bit of a, a good feeling and a bit of history, really, so it's nice to see. This is Taj's dad. Look at that beard. <laughs> Gandalf. Of all the icons in the WA Surf Museum, 1998 Rookie of the Year and 2009 Pipe Master Taj Burrow takes up the most space. Who is Taj Burrow? He was my hero. He was the only surfer I knew. Taj Burrow is probably the best surfer who never won a world title. Basically one of surfing's biggest influences ever. Yeah, one of the best Australian surfers ever. To me he was 
one of my idols and then became one of my best mates. Yeah, he's definitely one of the best surfers of all time. and The king of the hill. He's the lord around here. TB is just like the fun-loving mascot of this sort of joint. Yeah, he's just like a genuinely good, good bloke. Had the whole package, really. To me, it was like God. Every surf kid's hero. He's an absolute lord. He's a huge hero of mine, still is today. And um, 4 a.m. wake up, roll in his car into this full drive track. Sick barrels all day with him, all morning. Like, you know, it's, it's super special to me. Best, like, high performance sections of video has been filmed here. It yeah, seems right. like it's like the new spot to come and like try and like make a fucking mark. Oh, I, I feel like you wouldn't go making that... a statement about that, mate. <laughs> trying to keep this place quiet. <laughs> oh no, I've been blowing it out for years. It's a write off. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty tricky waves. Like a lot of my friends that come to WA from the East Coast, they're like, this place is fucked. It's so hard to surf. <laughs> it actually is. It's like it's really just you know it's raw and chunky and the the swells are so powerful and. It's definitely a, a tricky wave, a tricky coastline to surf. They're all like weird little ledgy slabby things and <laughs> that guy got flogged. There's a good example right there. Let's go, do Let's it. go get rinsed. Let's go get some waves. I just love that feeling of when you kind of, you recognize the tides and the swell direction and the period and the wind and, and everything. And then you try and pick, <laughs> you try and pick the sweet spot. And when you do get it, it's just kind of rewarding because there's so many different variables here and there's so many different places to check. When it all comes together and you do pick the right spot, it's a great feeling because you, you're getting tubed and there's not many crews. That's how you put a bow on a West Oz mission, sharing a few pits with the Prince. That's it for Australia. We're finally heading out. We're going to Rio, then down to Sacramento with a quick little pit stop at the hottest spot north of Sydney, Copacabana, and one more meat pie for the road. We'll see you in Brazil. You want me to smash this thing? Give me a noise. I'm gonna miss this.
All the cochinos in the world don't mean one, one, one meat pie. Hi everyone, I'm Michel Bourez. Welcome to the Red Bull Surfing YouTube channel. So this is the best place to get all the content from Red Bull, Airborne, All In, 21 days and no contest. Click here to subscribe and click over here to see the latest Red Bull content.